It may have been a year since Lady Gaga split with Taylor Kenny, but she's just now opening up about what really went wrong, and the sting is just as painful the second time around. There's certainly no poker face this time. What happens in Gaga's personal life apparently doesn't always stay in Gaga's personal life, as seen by her new tell-all documentary coming to Netflix in just a few weeks. And if you're still trying to mend the pain of the fairy tale that was Lady Gaga and Taylor Kenny, well, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're about to relive it in screaming color. The documentary isn't due out until September 22nd, but some viewers got an early preview during the Toronto Film Festival when People Magazine reported some of the details Gaga reveals about her and Taylor's decision to call off their engagement. The mag detailed one of the scenes where Gaga and Taylor aren't getting along, to which she says, quote, Me and Taylor are fighting, so that sucks. My threshold for bull with men is just don't have one anymore. In relationships, you have to move together. She also revealed that she wrote her hit single, Million Reasons, about the relationship as she struggled with whether or not she should end things. But the devastating blow that hit us all like a ton of bricks doesn't come until later in the documentary when Gaga revealed that the two ended up calling it quits and breaks down when she suggests that the reason being was her demanding career and nonstop schedule. She said, quote, My love life has just imploded. I sold 10 million records and lost Matt. I sold 30 million and lost Luke. I did a movie and lose Taylor. It's like a turnover. This is the third time I've had my heart broken like this. Come to find out, the two called it quits shortly after she landed the leading role alongside Bradley Cooper in A Star Is Born. Thankfully, the split seemed to be amicable for the most part, as seen later in the film when Gaga receives flowers from Taylor on the day of her big Super Bowl halftime performance, when she jokes saying, nothing like flowers from your ex-fiance on the day of the Super Bowl. Taylor was also present during the halftime show cheering her on in the stands and has been spotted at a few of her recent shows around the U.S. And what pains me down to my core even more to hear is that Gaga has been open about the fact that they still love and respect each other. So really, can someone tell me the problem here? This clearly just goes to show that timing is one serious B, but I don't care what anyone says. I'm still holding out hope for these two. But right now, I want to know all your thoughts on Gaga's heartbreaking details about her split. And do you think they have what it takes to make it work? get to talking in the comment section below. And after that, click right over here to see why Selena Gomez feels like she has no friends. Talk about kicking us when we're already down. Jeez. Thanks for checking in with me here on Clever News. I'm your host, Drew Dorsey, and I'll see you next time.